If you are struggling in sales, then traditional tips will tell you that you need more time pounding the phone. But today, traditional cold calling does not work. You need to find a new way. Today, more than ever, people simply do not answer the phone. Whether you're reaching out to someone's mobile, they will ignore it and let it go to voicemail. They won't even check their voicemails. Or whether you're dialing someone at their desk, they're in back-to-back -back meetings all day. Or whether you're reaching out to consumers at home, people don't have phones, millennials don't like to even speak on the phone, they don't like to contact people. We all know this, but stats even back it up. Recent stats show that 61% of salespeople say that it's selling harder or even much harder today than it was just five years ago. Just five years ago. Zipwhip put out a study looking at 520 consumers. This is crazy. 87% of the people in the study reject or ignore phone calls from unknown numbers. So if you're struggling in sales, of course the answer that, that feels right is to just do more more hours, more calls. And if you're talking to old school salespeople, they're gonna tell you it's all a numbers game, right? Of course you're chasing the no's because then you can get more yeses. Of course you love the people who won't pick up because then it gives you more time to move on to the next number. But all of this over the years has led to diminishing returns. We are doing more work and we are getting fewer results that's depressing. You need to find a new way to get in front of people. You still have to sell. You still have to connect with new people. You have to open up the conversation. You have to do your work. Getting in front of people hasn't changed, but the way you get in front of people, that requires a new way of thinking. And so this new way of thinking is based on taking old techniques and bringing them into the technologies, the platforms, and the resources we have today. How important, you have to ask yourself, how important is your list? It's everything. Your list is key for you because you need to be able to have access to, in the old days, the phone numbers, the names, the understanding of who they are, and you have to start working that list. And you gotta start filling in your notes and you gotta be able to build out the profile of who these people are. Your list is everything, it's the center of it. But where you get your list and, and how you work your list, that is everything and that has changed. Where are you getting your lists from? Is this coming from leads from your website? Are you getting them handed to you from some kind of third party? List building is less effective if you just go out and buy lists and more effective if you can culture and curate your own list. So of course, you can be running simple Facebook ads. If you're in B2B, you could be running LinkedIn campaigns that drive traffic to a gated page so that way people take an action. But on top of that, being able to drop a pixel based off of an action someone takes or them landing on a certain page and then take that group and remarket to that group with a new call to action and then of those people who take that action or hit a certain page, you can remarket to that group. You can go from really broad audiences and groups, create a list, remarket to that, of those people who take action, create a cleaner list, remarket to that, and of those people who take an action, you can now create lookalike audiences or whatever you want. But, but the point is, marketing today is essentially just list building and then hitting those people with new messages. Each time that you can get a contact, a phone number, and an email address, whether you're emailing them and then having them hit an open and then within that open it indicates within your CRM that you can then take a further action or enter them into an email sequence, or whether they're entering into a marketing campaign where you're taking lists, remarketing the lists, cleaning lists, and then your CRM is flagging something so that way you now know to follow up with them based on a lead score. Where I'm going with this is it's not about simply having a list and pounding the phone. It's about having a system based on integrating maybe a marketing campaign or an inbound calling campaign or a referral campaign, entering into your CRM, reaching out to people by email, by email sequence, by phone, by newsletter, by remarketing to these people, and then on actions that they're taking, have that enter into a lead score, and then you spend your time calling the people who have a high likelihood of actually picking up the phone, talking to you, entering into a relationship with you. Now, it sounds really, really complicated, but it doesn't have to be. It's the same thing that we've been doing for decades, but today the center of it is your CRM. It's being able to set it up in, in even the simplest terms in a way that you can bring the list in, email these people, and of the people who take an action, of the people who take an action, of the people who take an action. It's about constantly communicating with people and having those people take a certain action, entering into a new pool, and then of those cleaning as you go. And so then you spend more of your time focusing on people who are much more likely to enter into conversation with you and less of your time simply just calling, 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 calling. 
Of course, if you're just a sales rep, you say, how can I even have this system built? I'm not given much. It's always about the mindset first because at your disposal, you still have the ability to email people if you have an email and then set up your own things in your emails that you're sending out to people. Maybe have test different headlines, maybe lead each one with a question, maybe drive people to a certain page. And if you have the ability to know just based on a simple CRM, if the person has clicked on that link, then that gives you the type of information you need because you know that that person has taken an action, even if it's just simply opening your email or even if it's simply just clicking on a link or opening your email a second or third or fourth time. But most CRMs are able to do this kind of work where it'll tell you just if someone simply opened your email the time that they've opened it, when they've opened it, how many times they've opened it. And that information is enough to help at least start to clean your list versus just hitting people by phone and getting the voicemails all the time or them not picking up their voicemails. The principles of old school cold calling where you need to reach out to people eight, 10, 12 times before they take an action is still true in this. It's just we're moving the action from them picking up their voicemails because they're ignoring your calls and we're moving it to them reading an email, them opening an email, them checking out your website, entering it into a sequence. You reach out by phone at that point, at the seventh, at the eighth, at the tenth thing. You're still hitting that repetition. You're just now leveraging every single tool within your disposal. And this includes direct messaging through Instagram or through LinkedIn. It includes any way that you can possibly get in front of people that your targets, who it is you want to get in front of. So what kills you isn't just pounding the phone. It's thinking that the phone is the answer. Of course it's not. And then the last tip is once people have shown through lead scoring or some other kind of metric that they're slightly engaged, then you start to hit them. Hit them through phone, hit them through text, through LinkedIn, through DM, through email, whatever form it is that they're looking to communicate. That is what you want to do. You want to stay on them. You want to reach out. You want to drive value. You want to be friendly. You want to do all the things that make you a great sales rep in terms of listening, not talking too much, all of those things. But don't just focus on the phone. The phone is a valuable tool. Sometimes calling out of hours or calling on Friday afternoons or calling super early, all of those things are great. But the biggest thing here is that if you are just going to try and hit your 100 dials per day or your 100 contacts per day, you're going to see diminishing returns. Leverage every single piece of technology, every single way to get someone to take an action and then clean your lists as you go and you will see far better results. Can you still hear me? Two, yeah. two, two? Okay. Yeah. If you are struggling, if sales and marketing and scaling your business is important to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel or check out this video right over here.